Hello YouTube and the Tribe of the Horror Realm. It's Pike and Kittery back. No comedy. Nah. Yeah, you can show it a little shoulder so you're not doing the Chris Pike thing. Uh, um, stop. <laughs> we are doing a video for our buddy Horror Show 3000 who is reviving his Horror Nation participation. He's to, got a monthly question and he would like a video response and tell your story. The question for this month is, what, what was the first horror film that truly terrified you? Oh, you want me to go first? I don't know. Do you want to go first? Or? <laughs> okay, I'll go first. The original Children of the Corn. This movie freaked me out when I was a child. I mean... I couldn't even watch the whole thing. That kid who played Isaac just freaked the shit out of me. I couldn't watch. I couldn't watch the whole movie because he was just so eerie looking. And Malachi, he was just a troublemaker in himself. But when you watch that when you're a little kid, oh my god, freaked out. He's just so scary looking. That Isaac character and the oh my god, it was just such a <laughs> it's a horrible movie. I had nightmares about it. When was the last time you saw it? I never watched it again. I can't even look at it. Yeah, I know. You won't even want. Me, you don't even want me to bring it into the house. I know. <laughs> <coughs> it's a, it's actually kind of a tough question because I always think there are moments in films that have terrified me um, more so than films as a whole. Like growing up, um, like I told you before. The mole people from Universal Monsters, they scared me as a kid. Um, when I first saw Mario Bava's Black Sabbath, the episode uh, Drop of Water with the, the uh, old woman's corpse, when they find her in the bed, and then later on when she's standing up and approaching the girl, the look on her face, that just unsettled me incredibly as a kid. Um... You know, they're just all these little moments in films that uh, really get you. But uh, growing up, Jaws was one that really, really, uh, you know, was just a landmark film. Um, I got to see it in back in the drive-ins. My parents actually took me to see it. Well, they wanted to see it. They had nobody to really watch us kids, so they stuck us in the back seat of the the station wagon to fall asleep and um, you know I watched it from ba the back seat and those moments when uh, that head just pops out of it, it's just like whoa and that's the, just the huge shark and granted now you know you look at it and it's not close to being terrifying in the uh, as far as realism goes but back then it was really terrifying um, <coughs> and of course Around that time, The Exorcist was another one. Oh, that's a scary movie, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really unnerving to watch back then. And you just recently saw it, uh, oh, like yeah. last year. Yeah, well, that freaked me out. So, um, I, I mean, those were the ones. But then when I got older, you know, a lot of... I was kind of desensitized. Um, How about that one that you... Uh, Laid in bed for a week with like. Oh, the day of the Triffids when I was a little kid. Yeah, the Triffids <laughs> really freaked me out too. But when I, you know, teenager into an adulthood, there really wasn't anything that was that truly scared me until I uh, watched uh, Takashi Chimizu's uh, Juwan, the original. And wow, that just gave me freaking goosebumps. And just really played with my head and. Uh, you know, I watched it damn near 30 times, and I just still scares the hell out of me every time I see it. So, um, you know, that's it overall. I know it really wasn't one, I didn't quite really answer the question, but it's kind of shades of gray, because a lot of my earliest memories are just fragments of movies that scared me, um, and that I remember being terrified of, and then just the impact that films like Jaws and The Exorcist and then 
surprisingly Zhuan later on. And, and we can see how she is right now with Children of the Coin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even watch it now. <laughs> I can't even bring myself to watch it. <laughs> That's so bad it scared me. <laughs> well, there's some people that will not watch a movie because um, it may not have the same impact on you. You may not be as scared any longer. Oh, no. And in a way, <laughs> you're, you're preserving that fear that you felt back then. And Chris, remember it was on TV and you turned to it and I told you to change the channel? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I changed the channel. <laughs> Anyways, we're, dra we're going on and on. That's a conversation we can get into with each other as soon as we turn the camera <laughs> off. So, um, if you haven't had a chance to do one of these uh, Horror Nation participation Fire up the old camera and uh, record your story on the uh, horror film that, the first horror film that truly terrified you. And give uh, Richard a sub as well. Thank you very much. Bye.